Okay, so I left the arms as the last of the topics and this is probably because arms are somehow always perceived as the first measure of somebody's uh, size or somebody's strength and I think the reason for this is because arms are always on display. I mean, it's, it's acceptable to show your arms in public you know, just by wearing a t-shirt, and it's the first thing that people notice in you. And I guess this is why, with time, this has become a quick way of assessing somebody's strength, just by looking at the arms. Um, and that gives away if somebody works out or not. Be precisely because of this reason, arms are usually a very important focus of people who begin working out, and perhaps in the wrong way as well, uh, excessive focus. A lot of people want to just develop big arms straight away and neglecting the rest of the body. And this results obviously in either injuries, inconsistencies, um, and dissatisfaction with your workouts in general. I chose the opposite path actually. When I started going to the gym, I was neglecting my arms. I always was a believer of the big compound moves, the pull-up, the push-ups and the bench press the rows and I always thought that the arms would grow as a consequence because your arms are involved in all these moves when you do a pull up when you're pressing the dumbbells you're using a tricep and I never felt the need of actually isolating the arms on their own but actually with time as I increased the weight that I could lift I reached a point at which I couldn't really find any more improvement following these simple workouts and the reason was because my arm would fail first so say I was doing bench press my chest was still going strong but I wouldn't be able to do more reps because my tricep weren't developed appropriately I was doing chin-ups with close grip my lats were feeling strong but my bicep would fail and this really taught me a big lesson that your body needs to be developed in a uniform way and proportion between each part is very very important so also the arms shouldn't be neglected so I began training my arms and dedicating a full workout to just the arms the basic moves for the arms are familiar to everyone but maybe we should pay more attention to how we do this clearly the the curls are, you know, very self-explanatory, it seems, because the bicep is a simple muscle, it moves in one direction. Actually, there are different heads of the bicep and different ways of stimulating different parts of it. I like to perform the dumbbell curls sitting down with different inclinations of my torso. The reason I like dumbbells, once again, is because I can isolate each muscle individually, eliminating asymmetries. If I lift with a barbell, I'm unavoidably using my strongest arm more. I always start with the dumbbells and I always load the most weight with the dumbbells. But the barbell curl is also very important and especially variation of the grip if you do narrow or wide grip. If you do narrow grip, you're isolating your long head of the bicep, so the outer part of your bicep. If you do wide grip, you're isolating the inner part of your bicep, so the short head. And if I do uh, overhand grip, I'm isolating the forearm and uh, underhand, I can really focus on the squeeze of the bicep. Also, you can vary the angle of inclination of your arms. So if you're leaning forward into a spider curl or you're leaning back, you're isolating different parts of your lower and upper part of the bicep. Then, moving on from the bicep, we can then train the tricep. I usually like to train the bicep first because it's a smaller muscle and I find that I, if I have a pump in my tricep this sort of prevents me from getting that peak contraction in my bicep. The basic and the most important exercise for tricep I believe is the skull crushers or tricep extensions which are performed lying down. I like to use the easy bar and really focus on a strict move and I really try to load as much weight as I can. And when I fail, I like to press the weight in front of me. 
Pressing movements with the barbell at the bench are also very good for tricep if you use a narrow grip and you keep your elbows really tucked in together. And clearly dips or weighted dips if you feel like you can add extra weight. And you can finish off with the classic cable tricep extensions. You can do them in front of you or over your head.